All right. Hello, everybody. Cal Banyan, and we're back. Oh, I'm back here with Erica Flint, and we've got a really huge, wonderful topic. And it's like, who benefits the most from becoming a hypnotist? And when I say hypnotist, I'm talking about a professional, hypnosis professional that has the tools to help other people make important changes in your life. Well, take it from there, Erica. That's an excellent topic, Cal, because a lot of folks get into the hypnosis profession for a variety of reasons. And we all know that, you know, when helping a client, it's not just the client who benefits. And so what we see with a lot of our, our hypnosis students and our grads is their entire lives changing when they become a professional hypnotist, but that's just the beginning because it, it expands out from there. So, you know, when somebody starts feeling better and they are addressing the deeper things that are going on in their life, they're going to start having a positive effect on every single person around them, aren't they? Yes, and you know, it's about really, for me, one of the things I think about is, Oh, I can't imagine. I remember um, one of our grads was talking about this in a video I play and, and for class. And she talks about, oh, I could never do the nine to five. I could never go in, punch my little time card in there and beg the boss. Can I have a day off? You know, oh, I can't have my vacation when I want. So time freedom is a huge, I mean, what is that worth to be with the people you want on those special days and things like that? So to have the ability to everything you're saying and have the time freedom because the quality of life decision, that's what I think. Absolutely. And, you know, once I became a hypnotist and started doing self-hypnosis or practicing um, hypnosis regularly, um, you know, calming my mind and, and uh, now I'm showing up more for my family now I am able to focus and do the other things in my life that are more important. Yes, taking the time off is absolutely so I get to set my own schedule. But then when I'm there, I'm more present. Mm -hmm. And so I think part for me, uh, I got a huge spiritual growth from hypnosis as um, becoming a professional hypnotist. It really put me on a path that I could be happy about and continue to strive towards. So it became something very important for my spiritual growth as a hypnotist. You're right. So I mean, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, I mean, the life of the working hypnotist is all about growth. And mm -hmm. we as five pathers really strive to walk the walk, to be a product of the product, so to speak, so that we are living that life that other people want to emulate. And, and how do you do that? You learn all these skills about, you know, the secret language of feelings, seven paths, self-hypnosis, emotional resonance, how we speak to ourselves, how that programs ourselves, mm -hmm. and all this good stuff. It's really like one of the becoming, besides helping everybody else, one of the best things and who benefits the most from becoming a certified five path hypnotist is what? Moi, yourself, right? <laughs> yourself. Right. And that's exactly what we want. That's exactly what we want because we have a lot of our students who come out of, you know, they come because they might want to help somebody in their life or they see need in their area. I just want to be of service. I just want to help my mom. I want to help my sister. I see all of this great need out there. Um, for example, we have a lot of um, massage therapists where the client is emoting on the table and the massage therapist wants to be of service, but doesn't have the training or skills and doesn't really want to say anything, right? So it's like for a lot of our incoming students, they see a need, but they don't know how to meet it. So they're feeling, you know, they're not feeling good about not fulfilling that need. And then when they come for hypnosis, that becomes fulfilling for them. And so their life is becoming more meaningful now. It's purposeful for them is what is where I'm getting to with this, Cal. Sorry for that roundabout way. It's purposeful. 
for people to be able to come a hypnotist and continually tap into their deepest heart of hearts and be able to communicate it and live that life. So we see hypnotists losing weight. We see them writing books. We see them growing their programs. We see them really living their life to its fullest, which makes it super easy to turn around and help clients who are struggling with some of those same things. How many times have you had someone go through class and they're like, oh, Erica, I finally found my calling. Now I know what I'm supposed to do, right? And this happens in class, Cal. This is this will happen while they're doing seventh path, or this will happen when they're in class and they start crying and feeling like it's almost some level, I call it a homecoming because <laughs> that feels good to me. And it's just happened so many times. It's like, oh my gosh, this is it. This is why I'm here. This is what I've been seeking. This is what I've been looking for. I like, this is it because we're quieting the thinking mind. We're giving them a strategy so they don't have to overanalyze everything. And now they're able to be successful with modern hypnosis and it's, it's um, practical. That's what I think is so important, Cal, about the hypnosis. And in Five Path, we take the experiences of life that are challenging for people and we apply hypnosis to it. So hypnosis becomes practical useful. So every single day we get to use hypnosis to live better and feel better. Right. Awesome. You know, we're throwing around these terms, five path, like NASA or some kind of acronym, just to say, tell everybody five path is a systematic approach to working with clients who bring in just about anything that can walk through your door as an issue. And it's systematic so that it's easier to learn. It's easier to uh, to actually perform. It's easy to adapt to the different issues and circumstances. And the seven path self-hypnosis is a blow your mind, not like any other self-hypnosis on the planet that works like an antivirus for the for the human mind, goes and finds those programs that are working against you, neutralizes them, and you learn how to program yourself for success. So there's five paths, hypnosis and hypnotherapy. It's a five-phase approach. And then there's seven paths, self-hypnosis. So, you know, tell me a little bit about how important it is. So you've got, okay, so many hypnotists have come into the profession and they're frustrated and they're failed and they didn't get the benefits we're talking about. And then they come to us to become bypathers, right? Because they heard about these benefits, time freedom, financial freedom, satisfaction, quality of life, all this kind of stuff. And it didn't happen for them, right? And then they come to us and what do they say? Well, they say that they still love hypnosis. <laughs> thank thank goodness, right? I mean, thank goodness a lot of people are still inspired and motivated um, with hypnosis and, and they might get some results, but they often come to us seeking training or seeking, um, yeah, seeking a system, right? The systematic approach really is necessary. Nobody's going to go do any other profession without a systematic approach, mm -hmm. right? That's right. I like mean, psychologists, it, they have different systems. There's cognitive systems. Right. All these like, different systems that they have. You have to have a framework, right? Right. Nobody, but but there, but that's not the case in a lot of other hypnosis training, unless they want to give you the single session hypnosis training, which that has its own problems, right? If their system is a single session, it's going to have its own issues. So we get a lot of students coming to us from those types of programs eager. That's excited, right. but a, a little down because they're, they're like, you know, I was promised that I would be feeling like this, but I'm not really, yeah, I'm not say, really sure what to do. It was fun. It was interesting, but I just felt like we're missing something, right? That I had to, I be don't know what to do. That's, that's what they right. say. I don't know what to do with my clients. I don't know how to get started. I don't know how to get clients. And if I were to get one, I, I wouldn't know what to do with them. So you know, so who benefits all of that away? So who benefits so, when we're talking about is the person that's thinking about coming into the profession and how mm -hmm. they'll benefit their family, their friends, their, their clients themselves, and that they're going to benefit. Here's a, here's a, a extra benefit. People who don't want to be the lonely professional that want to be part of a community. Right. right. I think you have some things to say about that. 
Absolutely. You know, we really need really need to be part of a community. You don't want to be the lone hypnotist. Cal's been saying that for years, but it's so true. And we get a lot of folks who say that exact same thing coming into our program, like they feel alone. They don't know what to do. They don't have any colleagues. They don't have um, anyone to bounce ideas off of. They don't have anyone to just kind of be a colleague with. And if mm -hmm. you want to be a professional, yes, you need your professional organization. Exactly. And we're super active. You know, you got a question. We've got a very active group with uh, hundreds of members around the world that will answer your questions. We've got our annual symposium, which is like crazy mm -hmm. fun. Everybody's like minded. And we have advanced training and five path going deeper, not wider. And then also, like I'll do uh, Zoom and R's. We just catch people up to stuff and then individual. Yeah. Uh, CFIs may have things that they do with with their the, just their graduates too. So it's it's not where they just chew you up and spit you out and then go out and try to find somebody else to chew up. That's that's right. kind of mean. And I I would say not only are five pathers like um uh, like uh, minded, but we're like hearted too, because I do think that there there can be ego, there can be this sense in some other organizations or groups where people don't feel safe or comfortable they feel like they have to be super perfect or or there's there could be ego in in hypnosis right and our five path is very loving and very heart centered we want our brand new hypnotist to be super successful i want everybody to feel loved welcomed like we are in this together it is not an easy existence right now and we are going to do everything possible to help our communities families loved ones five pathers to feel amazing feel welcome and have success getting and working with their first clients you know, as you're talking about one of the topics we talked about before doing this is that stressful times are good times for the hypnotist, right? And so people yeah. who want to help people with all the stress that's going on from, from the kitchen table to the news from around the world, you get to be that person that helps people yeah. to relieve that stress and be able to focus on the stuff they really can do things about. And so the not being alone being able to deal with the, the 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 stress of these times and because things come in waves better times are ahead but stressful okay i'm going to say something that's kind of weird here because that's what i do you know i, I had a friend who was in the bar business his bar business is the best because in stressful times business is good in happy times business is good and that's the way it is for the hypnotist in stressful times business is good but then also yeah. times of plenty, people are feeling really good about themselves and say, how do I take myself to the next level? How do I get better in my relationships or, or whatever? Yeah. So, you know, stressful times and good times are good times for the hypnosis professional if you're doing good work. And I want to add one more thing to what you were saying about this is that there's no feeling of competition amongst the five pathers. And I remember when I started teaching five path to people, I said, aren't you worried about competition? I said, we will never be able to fulfill the need. Okay. If you're a good hypnotist, it's like, how many chiropractors are there in every town? There's several because the need is great. And this, right. and the good chiropractors are always busy. And the good hypnotist, like the five path certified hypnotist, is always going to be busy and is doesn't have to worry about competition. I mean, I train people here in my neighborhood all the time, and I'm not worried about it because they're everybody's got something, or they have someone they love that's got something that desperately needs to be fixed, and they've tried everything else, and we're the ones that can help them in most cases. Oh, that's right. Gosh. I mean, I, I've trained oh, over 400 people right that in Bellingham. A that was good though. It's true. Yeah. I mean, all right. We well, trained a lot of people that. in Bellingham too, right? No competition here either. There's plenty of hypnotists in Bellingham continuing to work um, because there's so many of our clients who need support in unique and different ways. Right. So who benefits from becoming a five path hypnotist? I would say the hypnotist and everyone in their world and their, and their community. 
It's like right. the Midas touch, right? Anyone you can touch yeah. is going to benefit because everybody's struggling with something. That's right. And I just want to say, I'm an anxious person. I didn't realize this until, you know, very kind of recently, meaning with all of the anti-anxiety and things. So like, if you're sitting there thinking, oh, I'm really nervous. Like, I, I don't know if I could be a hypnotist. Like, uh, I would say, yes, <laughs> please dive into hypnosis because if you have a desire, but you're feeling a little anxious, I have a, I have a feeling you will be surprised how amazing First of all, the five path induction is amazing, but I think you'll be surprised if you're a little anxious. I think that you might make an excellent hypnotist because when you fix that for yourself, you are going to be able to model that for everybody. So don't be shy. If you're feeling a little anxious at all, um, this might just be the perfect profession for you, really. Awesome. And you're going to be a walking, talking billboard for how good hypnosis works, right? Yes. Well, I, I mean, 10 years, I got rid of my TMJ. I lost weight. I stopped drinking. Um, and we've helped a lot of people here with hypnosis too. So I hope that continues, Count. I love helping people with hypnosis. Beautiful. And, you know, when you go through a program where you're able to practice hypnotizing people and practice doing the hypnosis every day in class, then a lot of that anxiety about, am I able to do that has been proven away because you've done right. that. And under supervision of someone that says, that's right, you're doing it, you know, and not just, I wonder if they're hypnotized, but doing really real depth tests so that you know that what you did worked. So, yeah. So come on, you nervous people, go, go to Erica's website, go to my website, call. Yeah. If you got questions, we understand that you have questions. Everybody has questions. We set time aside just to answer questions so uh mm -hmm. please give erica a call or give me a call we're in different offices tell them where you're at you're up in bellingham washington bellingham washington you can connect with us at cascade hypnosis training.com and i'm in dallas texas and uh i haven't i moved here about i don't know seven years ago and i love it D dallas texas is a really good place and so just go to Banyan Hypnosis Career Training. And we've got information there and the phone number. And you can even set up a, a consultation uh, right there on the schedule. Do you have an online scheduler like that too, if they want? Yeah, we do. Yeah. Where someone can sign up and talk to our admissions, Tim. They would talk to Tim and get a whole bunch of questions answered. Yeah. Yep. Typically, they talk to Maureen, our administrating director for the school. All right. You want to wrap nice. it up? All right. Thanks everyone for watching. It's a great honor to be here and share the power of hypnosis with you with the amazing Cal Banyan, who has been a hypnotist for over 20 years. He is such an awesome brain, you guys. He takes the hard stuff and simplifies it so that we can do a systematic approach. And he is the real deal. He is the real deal. If you meet him in person, oh, you will just melt. So great to be here. You can find me at CascadeHypnosisTraining.com. Yes, I think my mother would agree with everything you said. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. And Erica is the consummate professional who has gone from classroom to clients, to trainer, to award winner, to speaker. And uh, she, I have full confidence in her both as a hypnotist, hypnotherapist, and also as a trainer. All right. With that, love you guys out there. Hal Banyan, signing off. <laughs>